this series, I'm calling it Ask Me Any Question series. And the reason is many people ask me questions in the comment section, and sometimes I'm not able to answer everyone. So I've decided I'll be picking the questions that can be answered in form of a video. You know, there are some questions that you can be asked and you can at, at least try to answer in the form of a video because it can help thousands of traders who listen to me. So this segment will be very interesting. And I think this is what I want to change the way I train you guys. And I want to try in the next uh, couple of weeks to try only create videos according to what you are asking. So I'll be picking a question and then you ask me. So let's uh, get to know who is our first, uh, the first questions that we got. So this is a question that I got and this is from Martin Adams. Uh, it's like, I, I did this video some time back one hour strategy with only three rules to follow. And you don't need to come to my WhatsApp to ask me questions. Just uh, attach your questions to any of the videos and that's how I'll pick your questions to answer them in a form of a video. When you come to my WhatsApp, of course, that is, um, you, you're getting into, you're breaking boundaries, guys. I cannot answer 200 of you on my WhatsApp at the same time. So, hi, mom. Is it possible to analyze four hours time frame and just do your entry on one hour time frame, but following your progress on four hour? My, my, my response was very possible. Let me do a video and explain. If you hear me saying very possible or let me do a video and explain, be waiting for that video because that is to show you that I have committed to answer you with a video. So, Martin is asking us or asking me that are you can you analyze using four hour time frame and just do your entry with one hour time frame? I have seen this happen multiple times. And when I saw this question, I was like, wow, I think I need to answer this because I see this every single time when I'm trading. So we'll go back to our chat and thank you, Martin. I hope this will, is it Martin or Matt? I don't know if it's Martin or whatever, Adams. Thank you, Adams, for the, that question. And I hope uh, you will get your answers as we go back to our chat. So this is our chat, guys. GBP, JPY, we are on a four-hour time frame. In this question, he's not interested with daily, weekly, monthly. He's just saying, can we use this two time frame, four hour and one hour? Okay, so, and okay. So let's try to understand what is happening. I told you, and I remember doing a video where I told you the two things that you should master. You guys, I don't know if you must, if you keep these things in mind, two things to master. Let me do a recap. If you have not watched that video, go and watch it. I told you the trend, just, just know what's the trend. And then number two, know what is the, the pattern that is supporting the trend. The pattern that is supporting the trend. So, for instance, if the trend for this case is an uptrend, uh, if our trend is an uptrend, and I tried even to to, to give you that um, that information, if the trend is an uptrend, which pattern will you be interested with? You'll be interested with double bottom. It's that easy. It starts from there. So if the trend is uptrend, you'll be interested with a double bottom. If the trend is downtrend, you'll be interested with what? With double top. So you'll be coming here to look for double top so that, because downtrend says or suggests the market gonna sell double top. So imagine this alone can make you be profitable or avoid doing funny, funny mistakes. So yes, you know the trend and then the pattern that supports the trend. So the question is, what we have now, what is the trend of this current market? So if you want to know the trend of this current market, we have our resistance there and we have our support there. So where is the market currently? Is it attaching itself to resistance or it, is it near support? The thing is, if the current price is around resistance, 
that market automatically is a buy, it's an uptrend because it's attaching itself at resistance. If the price was at support area, most probably it will be a downtrend. So we have understood that the trend is an uptrend because from here we can see buyers are very strong and then we can see this ranging market. And then the next thing, what is that pattern that can support an uptrend buyers? What is that only pattern that supports buy? The only patterns that support buy, it is called double bottom because double bottom happens at support area. So all along you are thinking, by the way, I can have a double bottom and what I will be uh, attempting is the break of, uh, if I get an entry, I'll be targeting that resistance and then watching it closely for the break and then the retest and then I continue buying. Now, you start marking out the zones. So first, first, what will you see? You will see this double bottom. Nobody will ever see something different. Like if I'm trading here, I will see the first attempt, the second attempt. That is the bottom I will see. That is exactly bottom I will see. And this will be my neckline. So you can see, uh, according to four hour time frame, already you know that we don't use uh, uh, WBB, but to use CRB. So it's either they create a current resistance break or they break the half of that. And you can see the price has really rejected our half. Guys, can you see our half was rejected? Our half was rejected. So you are patiently waiting for that half to break so that you can enter by. Because first, first what is happening we have said, number one, what is happening? It is an uptrend. Number two, we needed a double bottom. So as you wait, what happens? The double bottom gets broken. And this is what confuses many people. Because yes, the double bottom has been broken uh, on four hour. And if we can look on our left, if we can look on our left, we do not have anything supporting like a double bottom. So majority, let me, I will not lie to you. Majority will just get confused. Majority will start thinking of selling. And you see, why would you start thinking of selling because of break or structure? And the trend is what is governing you because I cannot sell until I am sure that the trend has changed. Okay, guys. So immediately this breaking of support and the double bottom that you are hoping to get, it confuses a lot of people. But you are not supposed to get confused because we need to go to lower time frame to check what might be here. Because here, yes, you're seeing, um, you see this green candle. It's a green candle on four hour, but on other time frame, what color is it? Do we have a support in that area? So you go to two hours and you find the market has broke, but we don't have, on the left side, you don't have anything. And remember the question of this particular uh, person who asked Adams, who asked, was saying, can you do analysis on four hour and get entry on one hour? So if I go to one hour time frame, guess what I see? If I direct on the left, I see a support area. And this support area is now giving me something we call possible double bottom. This is a possible double bottom, guys. So you can spot that OPT can also happen on one hour, can also happen on 30 minutes, can also happen on two hours. It's just that you need to be very, very careful. So OPT can happen across all the time frame. The the thing is with OPT, you need to understand that if the double top is on one, the double bottom is on one hour, it's not supposed to be on two hours. That is it. It's not supposed to be on two hours. So this double bottom, remember our analysis started from four hour time frame. Now we have got in, we have got an activation. So according to one hour time frame, we got this double bottom. But if I go to two hours, because two hours really makes sense more than even four hours at checking the OPT, we do not have the double bottom there. You can see 
don't have the double bottom. In fact, even on two hour, the market has broken support. And then I go to four hour, still we do not have it. So all your attention now are, are on one hour because one hour can make you money rather than sitting on four hour. If you stay on four hour, chances are you will start seeing you start seeing change of character from buy to sell. You start thinking this market will do what? Will sell because the support has been broken. But if you flip, and this is why I'm asking and I'm answering with a video, if you apply this knowledge on what I'm saying, like you're analyzing for hour and you spot out a break of structure, like on resistance, there's a break with a very green candle. And then on support, there's a break. Just start going going down on lower time frame to, to understand what is the really meaning of that break with the lower time frame. Now, again, we will use which, which strategy? We are going to use CRB, current resistance break, or the market to break our half. So we wait for current resistance break. So almost breaking, you can see that attempt of breaking and current resistance break, we have. We need to have a green candle followed by a red candle. So we got a green candle, another green candle, another green candle. And you can see the market, what they, they did, the market broke our half. So not only we got three green candles, yes, we didn't get to find, um, if you zoom, you need to zoom to see what really happened. Did it break? Yes, it broke. So at the end of the day, you didn't get to trade from the uh, second bottom to the half, but because now half is broken, you can trade this. You can enter to the neckline, long position. That's how you enter. Okay? So because it has broken half, that's how you enter to the neckline. How many pips are these? Note on, on four hours, there is no reason for you even to buy. So that is 71 pips. So let's see how many hours took for this market. To, and the best thing with OPT is very, very strong. OPT means one pattern on one time frame is very strong. There's nothing to fear about it. So the market range, 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 so we can see a lot of ranging on that area and we can see the market um, going almost hitting our half and our take profit has been hit. Can you see guys? So not only our take profit has been hit. So this is our half. And you can notice you're not even flipping on four hour and this is our neckline. So from half to neckline, 70 pips are secured already. Now you have to see BOS at neckline. So if there's BOS, you need to ask yourself, when neckline breaks, what does that mean? Or what does it tell you? What does it tell you? So we have that distance. So this market is going this distance. You see, so the question of this uh, of Adam was, can you be, can you enter? I have shown you how to enter, and don't forget to monitor. You have to monitor why, because at uh, you have to monitor what four hour is doing at this resistance. So yes, neckline can break that resistance, but it can be trouble for four hour to break it. So the most guaranteed take profit is up to there. So that's where we are getting our guaranteed so we will get uh, we will enter our second trade because the neckline has been broken and we are targeting up to there so how many pips are this this is 67 pips again we target that market so you can see the market going up and even if you flip on four hour let's say you want to notice what really happened you can see the 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 major resistance zone on four hour also it's broken so this is what he was trying to say can you enter one hour as you're monitoring four hour you will monitor and know four hour a uh, half has been a uh, resistance that was very strong was broken so i'll continue with the one hour pattern because here there's a pattern okay 
again. So we our TP is hit. So once our TP is hit, guys, from TP3 to TP4, it's uh it's not guaranteed, but in this case, still it hit TP4. But I don't suggest uh you continue holding up to TP4 because I have seen majority of time those 71 pips can can cause for the market because the market can back can retrace back. So for me, what I've come to realize is that majority of time um we need to understand that once one hour it has given us a pattern that is not on four hour uh be very careful when you hit tp3 i hope i have answered that question in the whole video um continue asking me questions in the next uh i think couple of weeks this is what i'll be doing i'll be answering question using video thank you so much uh adam for helping us to learn um uh, time frame alignment this is what we call time frame alignment Anyone who was trading on four hour, they were like, why did this market buy? Because according to them, the market is supposed to sell because of the support break. Even, even if you didn't flip, you would be confused. So that is it, guys. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have liked. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Give it a big thumbs up and see you in the next one. Love you. Bye-bye.